Hi, my name is Tiffany and um, my son um, was diagnosed with classic autism in September. He started stimming around June, which got us thinking, you know, something might be wrong. Uh, it was days after his two-year vaccines. Um, my husband went away to Africa with the military and upon his return he saw exactly what I saw. Mason started lining things up and throwing objects past his face through his visual field. It was sun up to sun down. He was tantruming 30-40 minutes for no apparent reason. Um, he was constipated like he was just completely different and it's like our life changed. We couldn't take him out because all he would do was stim. I had to pull him out of play group because all he did was stim on the toys there. So we took him in to get him evaluated. Um, and in September, he was diagnosed classic autism. Uh, we were really upset. We were hoping it would be something different that was making him do this. Maybe, you know, uh, I read about sensory processing disorders, just like anything but autism. But that's what it was. And when I was there, they told me he needed uh, occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and they wrote me scripts to fill the whole week with hours and hours of therapies. And the only advice I got when leaving that place was don't try anything about biomedical interventions. Uh, Jenny McCarthy put out a book in. Um, the only thing that's been proven time and time again to work is um, traditional therapies. But they didn't know I'd already read Jenny McCarthy's book and I already started Mason on a GFCF diet, which did help him. But he needed something, something more. He was progressively, you know, stimming and everything and even though his bowels were getting better and he started gaining a few words after starting GFCF, he needed, like, professional help so um, my friend told me about Dr. Newbrander and how he had a nasal spray to, for the B12 so I got that and did it at home not per the doctor just on my own and I did see some benefits I saw some in increasing cognitive skills he learned his numbers but I couldn't give him a steady dose because he used to fight me to even get it into his nose. So I, I couldn't gauge how much he was actually getting. I'd give it to him and he would sneeze or he'd run across the room and shake his head or I'd squeeze the trigger to put it in his nose and he was just fighting me. And then he had red boogers and it was just too much of a hassle to get it in. So, uh, you know, I stopped doing that and then I decided to look for an actual Dan doctor and probably Dr. Newbrander himself. But I was on the fence because I didn't really want to give the shots and I knew that when he suggested B12 that he would give shots. But I, um, we ended up going there anyway because I met a mother in the local area who had a recovered son and she used him. So I just dove in and we brought him to Dr. Newbrander. Um, the shots were really easy to give. They're really shallow and Whereas Mason used to fight me on the shots, I mean, on the nasal spray before, now he would actually lay down in front of the TV and be ready for his shot with no problem. So they were very easy to give. Um, within a couple days, Mason's behavior totally changed. Whereas he used to stim nonstop all day, sunrise to sundown, now he was actually sitting down and like his therapist noticed he would sit down and do a few tasks in a row without a break to go stim whereas before he he would do a puzzle with her and he'd take the pieces and throw them past his eyes real fast when she turned her back for a second so he already started sitting his stimming almost ceased completely and it was every week it was decreased more and more um before mason used to just kind of take up space in the car like he didn't notice anything he was just kind of like a puppet he was always just along for the ride and now when we're in the car he's he notices there's red light stop green light go and um, he's interacting with us he never would come to us or engage us we were always going to him and trying to get him to play with us and now 
he wants to spend time with us. He interacts with us. He's giving us hugs and kisses unprompted. Like we used to always say, Mason, come here, come give us a kiss. And we'd have to go to him to give him a kiss and then he'd be done. But now like I'll lay on the couch and he'll want to come and lay with me and watch TV with me and kiss me. And he, he's understanding emotion. Whereas before he, he didn't get that stuff before starting B12. I, when I was still in my denial if he had autism or not, I, um, I saw on the internet, oh, do this test where you hit yourself with a toy hammer and then see if they want to comfort you. So I did that, and Mason did not care. But just the other day, he was opening the pantry door, and it was opening on my toe. And I said, ow, my toe. So he bent over and kissed my toe and said, all better. It's just unbelievable it's like I'm meeting my son for the first time and everyone gets to enjoy him my husband my grandparents he runs up to grandparents like hi pop pop hi Elbot like before he didn't care who was in the room he just wanted to go stim somewhere he used to be so desperate to just stim he would go and take the dish towels off of the stove and go hide and stim because if I saw him I'd take them away but before he had no toys downstairs. I, every time he throws something and was inappropriate, I'd have to take it away. Eventually, I had no toys downstairs at all unless I brought something down for him to play with with adult direction. But now I have a whole room full of toys because now I know he'll play with it appropriately. Before, he, he couldn't play with anything. he just throw everything. Um, also, we had... Uh, an appointment with CHOP around Mason's six week of shots, fifth or six weeks of shots. And um, when we went there, I was hoping because Mason was doing a little better and I didn't want to get like jump the gun too much, even though I was really excited about the progress he was making. I didn't want to pump myself up for a letdown. So I said, let's just go in there and, you know, see maybe he'll get downgraded to PDD NOS because his behaviors have been almost completely eliminated the stimming he had been engaging he's learning he learned his whole alphabet in the six weeks that we started b12 and he can identify all the letters separately it's no song we never sung a song he just learned it so you know i was like well i don't want to you know give myself false hope let's just go in and get pdd nos that would make me happy over classic autism and we went in there and mason did the test and at the very end um, the doctor looked at me and just said, your son does not have autism, nor do I think he ever will have autism. Uh, he was downgraded to just having a delay, a five to six month delay. And for a kid who had classic autism in September, to lose her diagnosis in January, it, it was just like unreal to us. And, and even now, like every week that we continue, he just gets better and better and it's more and more fun. Mason's balance is better. He used to, before starting shots, he couldn't get up the slide in our backyard. He, the, the rungs on the ladder to get to the slide, he'd go, he couldn't get up the rungs. And then once he was at the top with some help, he couldn't get his feet to face out to go down the slide. He wasn't coordinated enough. And now he can just go up. We don't even need to spot him. He's just a pro at the slide so that's really nice his quality of life has really improved um, that slot that I had him in playgroup to um, I had him in playgroup and I had to take him out when all the other kids were progressing and playing and Mason started stimming I took him out of playgroup there was no point for him to be there to just dump and throw and find every little car and line up so now next week I'm gonna bring him back to playgroup and I signed him up for music classes that start in two weeks. It's We're going to be able to just do fun things. This Christmas, we got to decorate the tree, and Mason helped. He wanted to do it with us. I'm vacuuming. Now he wants to come and vacuum. I'm doing laundry. He wants to help put the laundry in the machine, whereas before, he, he never did anything. He can also ask me <laughs> for a drink what cup he wants, what he wants to eat. He'll come downstairs and just say, I want a bagel. Whereas before, he couldn't even tell me what he wanted unless I offered him two choices. He'd have to, then he could point to what he wanted. But now it's just, 
he's starting to get a real personality. Um, my message to parents would be um, to you owe it to your child to at least give it a shot with the shots because nothing else compares. I, I could never have even dreamed that this would be my life and I would have this life before and in six weeks already it's like I I don't have to worry about the future of my child I feel like and we have peace of mind me and my husband can enjoy a cup of coffee and not worry about Mason and what he's doing and how he's gonna be so it's just you know do it for your kid and it's it's worth trying Mason what's this is that your cup with milk cup is that a cup what is that what is that is that a cup with milk Mason. Mason, what you doing, honey? Mason, you like that car, the blue one with the green wheels? Mason, what's your favorite car? Mason. 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 Hi, baby. Which car's your favorite? What's this? Mason, what's this one? Hat. Hat. Good job. Can I have that? Thank you. What's this one? Mom, mom, mom. Ball. What's this? Look, same thing. Mom, mom, mom. You want to eat? Please. Eat what? You don't know. You gotta tell me. What do you want? What do you want? Well, you have to tell me. What do you want? Eat. Please. Oh my Daddy. Daddy. Okay, who's this one? Mommy. Mommy. What is this one? Foot. What is it? Foot. Foot. Good job. Why? Do you want green dolphin? Daddy. What color? Orange. Orange. What color? Yellow. Yellow. Good job. What color? Purple. 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 What color? Red. Red. What color? Blue, purple. That is purple, but you could say, what color? Pink. Pink. That's right. Yes, that is a cookie. I love cookies. Okay. Good talking. Cookie. There you go. Say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.
You want to lay with me? 